Hello guys, this is the Four, and today I'm gonna bring you um, something special. This is a game called um, Xenonauts. It's an XCOM based game developed by Golden Hawks Interactive. The lead developer is a Mr. Chris England. Now this is version 8.5. It's currently going... It's cur currently is under alpha funding on the Sora. It's going for about, well for me, 15 to about 22 euros, depending if you buy the regular or the premium package. Right, so I'm going to uh, start off with saying that I haven't played an XCOM game before, ever. But I'm not going in here blind, I have played this uh, game a couple of versions back. Right, now 8.5 seems to be the most stable version. It's also going to be a uh, press release version, if I remember correctly. But anyways, let's uh, dive straight into the game. For um, viewing purposes, I will be using normal. In a later playthrough, I might go for insane. Iron Man mode... No, I think I would li like to save. Just in the world map, whenever I can. Alright, tooltips... Probably not. Right. Let's build a base here in Europe. And, just for funsies, I'm gonna build a base here in America as well. Right. Just... Right, when you start up the game and you see the hand-drawn art, it's very, it's very good. It's very good actually. And I've got nothing but good stuff for uh, about the map. Looks very nice, very detailed, and it shows up a uh, couple of interesting cities around the world. Right. But let's go into uh, our main base and let's see if I can explain some stuff here. We've got our um, hangars for our interceptors, our Chinook, which we'll see later, barracks, radar dish, training, laboratory, this should be production, yes, storeroom, and a garage. You know what, I'm going to delve here a bit deeper and it's over here in the North America base. Right, so if you want to build new stuff, it has to be adjacent to an already uh, built building stuff. Okay, I'm gonna start with the radar array. Radar dish. A um, training center medical center and a garage. Now I cannot build anything more because everything adjacent has already been taken. So I, I will have to wait at least 15 days if I want to build something else here. Let's go back to our main base. And I will cover no research and workshop just yet. Can't do anything. But, let's go for soldiers. Right, this is the inventory screen. This is what your so soldiers' inventory will be when they are deployed. I'm going to um, go into the Chinook and this guy. As you can see, he's currently holding a pistol and a grenade. What if I don't want that? Let's pop this over here. You can do this inside the game. Well, actually, in, during an attack. But it takes up AP and basically around. Just wasted. So it's best, you know, equipping them right now while you can. Just to start off with. 
Let's see, can I give him jackal armor? It'll take some AP and he will be more burdened. What if I just would remove the pistol entirely? It'll give me enough AP, still be able to carry the medibag and have ammo. Fair enough. Now I haven't used these two Odd. Oh, the flamethrower's gone. <laughs> I haven't used the machine gun or the flamethrower. Let's see if it's gone. Yeah, it's gone right now. But the else? Yeah, I give him some armor as well. I like to have my guys survive. Ooh, by the skin of his teeth. Well, ha he'll have to do. see what kind of equipment. We've got a stun baton to take out enemy, um, well actually aliens, so we can research them later. It's the live ones. Right, vehicle section. This is a free vehicle you get at the start, you actually get two. It costs about 300 a pop. Quite expensive but very useful. It's very good for scouting. Can take a couple of shots to the front but the sides and the rear are paper thin. I'm going to keep using the rocket launch because I'm a noob and I love AoE damage. Not that the um, machine gun is bad in any way but it's, it's how I roll. Right, This is our um, interceptors. These are our interceptors. Two F-17s and a MiG. Now the MiG does not have a a cannon. It only sports heavy missiles and a couple of sidewinders. MiGs are faster but they don't have the all cannon so gotta watch out. And auto cannons can use HE or AP. Bullet shells. Whatever. Whatever suited because HE is more useful against lighter targets, AP against heavier targets. Right now on to the dropship. We can just move our guys freely around, no problem. I'm gonna keep my hunter out first because it looks cooler when it drives off the ramp. See who do I want to run out first? Shell gun here, precision rifle. Seems odd, but I'm gonna bring the snipers out first. Assault rifle. Who's this guy? Assault rifle. I'm gonna group these two later, we'll see. Um, shotgun... Who's he? He's a rocket launcher dude, so... Okay, I think we're fine. Okay, we're going into the personnel tab. Here are all your soldiers currently stationed. Oh, this guy doesn't have charcoal armor. We'll change that in a second. Uh, later on, you can train them so they can so they can be more proficient in stuff that you actually train them in. That's why you um, buy that training room. You can also hire more scientists for your research and technicians for your workshop production of um, uh, about anything actually. Well, it does take time and money including the technician's wage. So you've got to keep this, you got got to keep an eye on this. It's very expensive hiring people. Even back then. Right. 
Now, later on we'll collect loot and build stuff, which will be transferred here. Now, this is your base, but you can also transfer them to currently the North American base, which does not have a storeroom. But everything you see here will be of use later. And of course, selling alien artifacts and junk you don't need. Just get that extra bit. Also, if you're in a pinch, you might want to sell some stuff. Right, I think it's about time we uh, bag ourselves some aliens. Oh, there's been a sighting here. Apparently by a local fisherman. It's outside of my... Um, outside of my base. Uh, but outside of the radar. Oh, contact. Gonna send in all my... Uh, my jets. At this point, the UFO, the UFO always reminds me of a fly, just randomly moving about. And as you can see, jets also have their own uh, radar. It's uh, quite cool, and they do have radar in real life. Uh, there's chasing him. Come on, man. Turn around. Now, the fuel is being used up currently, so at a certain point, they might just turn back. Which will happen, yes. And they are forced to turn back. Sadly, we're not allowed to uh, land on somebody else's uh, air brace. Their airfield. Being all secretive and stuff. Right, let's uh, speed it up a bit. No sighting happened. Oh, just way over there. I need to come over here. Right, well, anyways, after we take down the UFO, we will be able to like, capture it. But there are also um, quote terror mission terror missions unquote now these are from um, XCOM originally this basically means just a site where aliens are terrorizing the local population and you have to save them these can be quite hard I don't know I've never I've never done one before for Africa. Speed up. Oh no, no over water. Come back here. Speed up a bit. Ah, there we go. Engage. Now, right? Oh, our fuel level is dangerously low. He's the enemy uh, sees that he's outnumbered, so he'll try to escape. Hopefully, we'll be able to take him down. These guys will fire automatically, but I've told this guy to wait specifically. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Just in the nick of time, I guess. Ah, I was shot down over water. Sadly enough, that means we'll have to wait a bit longer. But I do love the music. Um, during the engagement. The first time I heard it, I felt compelled to micromanage my uh, fighters. It's really cool. Intercept. Launch. Oh, ho, ho, way over there. Oh, yeah, come on. Over the land. Right, now turn back. Ah, just missed. Let me speed it up again. Sorry, <laughs> these guys are so lucky. Oh, we're fueling. Alright, can we engage now? Here we go again. <laughs> 